this part of the video, we are going to take the Lambda function code that we had written in the previous video and dump it into the Lambda function. Let me copy the entire code. So either you can prefer writing the code here itself. You will be given a sample code here, remove that. You can either type the code here itself, but I don't prefer doing that. I'll straight away write in my VS code editor and I'll just copy paste it here. Okay, so this is the function that I've written. Just click on deploy so that you will save this file and also hit control yes so that you will also save it. Okay, so hit deploy and that's it. Now, as I told you in the previous video, we need to make some entry to the DynamoDB. Okay, so I'll just click on the DynamoDB that we have created. So this is the table. And here, if you see, we have an option called explore table items. I'll just click on that. And here, if you see, uh, we have, you know, items returned as zero. Uh, for this to work, we'll create a dummy entry, right? So I'll just click on create. Email, I'll just name that as one. And I'll uh, give that because that is a partition key and it cannot be an empty uh, object. So I'll give uh, one here and let uh, next I'll add a string value again. So in the next value that we are going to take is name. So I'll provide name here and let me see the code and next is phone and password. So I'll go back to the console and I'll add another one called, uh, uh, you know, this one um, string and here I need to provide phone. Okay. So next another one with a string, you know, I'll say password. Okay. So these are all the dummy entries that I'm entering and I'll just click on create item. So here you will see this, uh, you know, items here. Okay. So this is just an empty item. So next we'll continue to create the API gateway. So Now let's come to the actual part of this video, which is to create the API gateway and enable chorus. So in this step, we will create an API gateway endpoint and will trigger our Lambda function whenever a form is submitted. So we'll also enable chorus for our endpoint to allow cross domain requests from our front end. So we will define a post method for our API gateway and configure it to trigger our Lambda function. Once we have created our API gateway endpoint and enabled chorus, we can move on with the next step where we can test it, right? So let me go ahead and create the API gateway for you in the AWS management console. Okay, now I've logged into my AWS console and this is my API gateway console. Here, I need to select the REST API. So I'll select REST API and I'll click on build so here I'll just go and click on OK. So here I will go on new API and I'll need to give a API name. So I'll uh, provide a registration API. So the same thing I will copy and I'll paste it in the description also, which is not required. So and next I'll click on create API. So this will create an API for me. So that's not where it ends. We need to furthermore go ahead and create resource and methods. So first let me click on this action here and click on resource. So I need to create a registration or register. So if you see my Lambda code, so let me go back to my Lambda function, sorry, the front end code in uh, script.js. Okay, here if you see at the end, I need to mention a register. When I hit this URL, so that particular, you know, is entry should be uh, taken to our DynamoDB, right? So I'll copy this register here. I'll go back to my console and here in the API gateway, I'll just paste that register and I'll click on, uh, make sure to enable the chorus here. So enable API gateway chorus. So I'll enable that and I'll click on create resource. So now we have created the resource. The next step would be to create a method. So our method would be the post method, right? So we are going to post the data. So I'll click on action again and I'll click on method. Here I need to select, uh, you, you see this drop down box, right? So here I need to select the post. So I'll select post and I'll click on this right mark. So after clicking on the right mark, you need to select your Lambda function. So what is the Lambda function that we have created? So the Lambda function name is registration form function. I'll just copy that and I'll come back here 
and I'll paste it. Make sure that your region is correct. And here you need to uh, integration type should be Lambda function. So after if, uh, giving everything, I'll just click on save. So it will add the permission to the Lambda function. Uh, agree to that and click on OK. So that's all you have to do. Also, don't forget to enable chorus. So to do that, click on actions and here you will see enable chorus. Okay. So make sure to select this, uh, you know, resource and then click on enable chorus. So if you don't select that, it will throw an error, right? Or it will not be displayed for you. So make sure you have selected all of this. Don't change anything. Just click on enable chorus and replace existing chorus headers. I'll just click on that and I'll just say yes, replace. Okay. So make sure all of the boxes are checked and that's it. Now, another thing that needs to be done is to deploy this API gateway. So to do that, I'll just click on actions and I'll just click on deploy API. So here I need to select the deployment stage. I'll click on new stage and I'll say prod. So directly, if you want, you can pro mention prod. If you're going with a test, you can mention test or anything you want, right? So I'll just give prod and I'll just hit on deploy. So this is going to provide an invocation URL for me. So this is going to be our API URL. So I need to copy this URL and I need to paste it in the Lambda function or I need to paste it in the front end code that is in the JavaScript. So let me open up my front end code here. Here, if you see in the XR, XHR open, uh, this is a post method. And here, if you see uh, API URL is there, I need to provide the URL. So this is the API URL till prod you need to provide after that the you know resource type that is registered. So mention all of this and just test your code. Next, we are going to test this project by giving some dummy uh, entries into the registration form and see how it goes. Thank you.